Amen. Good morning, brethren. It's Brother Robbie. It's Saturday, a few hours before the house church begins. We're going to do a little early today. We've been going out to the mountain, kind of separating the two. Instead of just doing the service on the mountain, we just do it here. That way the tone is really irreverent and what have you. But um, just listening to people talking here on Facebook and what have you, some different things have come up where I'm trying to, like, overall kind of narrow my... Uh, my little world down as far as kind of stuff that I'm going to be focusing my time on. Um, like the last sermon I was talking about, that there was a, a time to really focus in on the house church and stuff that's gearing around the music and gearing around just the travels to the mountain, uh, the street ministry, and then the actual house stuff itself. Um, so just the music and getting new songs all the time and, um, you know, always inviting new people or getting to know people and what have you in their life. It's a lot easier to actually bring people in when you actually get to know them help them with things in their life help them move or whatever what have you so um, a lot of things I'm focusing on but some people mentioned like things that they would like to see that actually really inspires me when there's actually a definite known need I mean there's so many obvious needs to make videos and, and to keep the keep everybody updated on what's going on and kind of keeping our heart on track with God as the battle is just hilariously just sometimes overwhelming and um, yeah when you're really trying to focus in and be super serious it's sometimes it's hard to do lightweight things and so some people are in those important lightweight sections of the faith and it seems like hey what's the big deal well somebody's got to watch security you know somebody's got to um, you know, the police force has to be kind of out there doing the dirty work or the harder jobs focusing on things is really really hard and you know security guard who has to watch over things and to keep their eyes open while, so everybody else can relax and chill, and chill out but uh, someone's got to do the hard part or the, da the dangerous part and be watching out for weird spirits and, and people who are watchmen on the wall people who are called to be seers or prophets or apostles and do things that is more than just kind of go with the flow somebody has to do the, the dirty work and the groundwork and it's 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 taxing <laughs> so that's why it's hard but some people maybe think about uh, visiting the house church um, it's good to do so I'm good with that um, if you have already watched at least one or two of the videos and actually really like it if you agree with the doctrine statements and things like that it's, a, it's good um, if you don't um, maybe maybe we can find some common ground if you like or just no it is what it is kind of thing because it's hard to really break bread on a really a critical level in the house church is what I built to say this is what I really really believe you know so my house church is where I'm really saying it closely so the closer you are to the, the house church is the closer you are to my heart because my doctrines and my material is my babies you know that's like my family in a sense because I don't have a family <laughs> so one of the things on Facebook that's so annoying so it's it's a really it's really like I don't know what to say. I just wanted I just kind of delete the messages whenever they say how are you doing or what are you, how's it going how's your family how are you sister Santiago or sister or brother. It's like who are you? Because <laughs> all those everything they ask is on the front page. It's so funny. So um, it tells you where I live. It tells you where I work. It tells you everything about me on there. And the things I want to connect with, if, you're, if people want to connect on the side, they're talking about chick tracks. They're talking about you know things that really that I really want to focus on. Um, private conversations about conspiracies, I I won't be interested in it. I don't. I barely like to talk about it anyway. But I don't really like to talk about it on the sidelines. So conspiracies is not really something I'm focused on. The holiness doctrine, amen. Prayer, uh, real questions about things, real discussions about things. Um, getting to know somebody to see if we have any connections for street ministry, house church, or mountains and things like that, uh, woodworking or helping people with things in their life or different kind of outreaches and what have you, stuff like that is something that I really focus on. And then if people want to get involved, then we're getting involved on those things that I can actually focus on. To other stuff that's kind of like I touch it when I want, when I, once in a while, then sure, but really not not a lot for certain subjects. So, but people asking me. Um, a long time ago, somebody asked me what I think about the reformers, and so I made a, I actually built a sermon around what I was already working on, and kind of blended the two of the answer to that question about what I think about the reformers, and it just so happened that I was studying the Jehovah's Witnesses, so I kind of connected the two, and they're both very different, but I got issues with both, and I have respect for both. One of them has a lot of truth, and one of them has a lot of issues as well, so um, that's, that's a big answer, and I thought it was a pretty good video. So I was trying to really lay hold of some important truths or covenant theology versus um, 
replacement theology. That was another question someone asked, and so I, I worked on that material as well. Someone asked me for different chick tracks, which ones they wanted to see, or they asked me questions about whatever. And apologize for the folks out there also that I haven't answered your questions. If you've ever commented and, and asked, sometimes I don't even see the questions. It doesn't even let me know that it's there. So I happen to just stumble upon them and I'm like, oh man, someone has said something. So I respond much later. So I'm not trying to ignore people. Sometimes when I do ignore you knowingly, it's because I just don't know how to answer and I mean to get it to it and I never do. So um, uh, if you ever see that happen, just ask again. I'll try to make a quick video like this to just kind of talk, talk about how I see certain subjects. Uh, I had an atheist do that with me on a chick track, and I forgot which one it was, and so I, I can't remember his wording. And he was really sarcastic, and I said, look, if you really have a serious question, then just ask, and I'll answer you. And I never really did, so I felt bad. I think that was like almost a year ago. But, uh, so definitely, um, and I thought about that too. If people who really want to get involved, the, the closer you want to get in finding ways of connecting, there's different apps that you can use to ask questions and then dialogue like that, or do a live, live uh, video on Google Hangout or something like that, which I've never done, but I can learn, and we can do it that way. So, um, so people are requesting certain things that actually that actually inspires me. That means I know we're getting connected, and the connections adds a lot of gravity to the material. So, um, yeah, tonight's going to be talking about I'm going to be talking about Pelagian and what I think about that and the the Pelagian Augustine um, doctrines. And uh, there's a lot of talk about how things have gone on before that. Um, kind of like we were talking about last week, Gnosticism and Neoplatonism. And uh, there's some things that is kind of like somewhat connected to that in a sense. And I may be talking about that tonight. And I still got to go over a lot of material that I was working on and just keeping my heart very focused in prayer. Um, just so I can keep in that same spirit of prayer when we're getting through the material. But yeah. So yeah, it's good to, people asking questions and things that really gets me going. It's it's one of the motivators, and that's as from my position, all the motivation I can get <laughs> that is is helpful. So, um, yep, I guess that's all for now. I can't remember all the things I was going to say, but yeah, I remember last night I was thinking about that because I kept running into comments that I didn't even know were there, and that really helps too. So I guess that's it for now. But uh, um, yeah, hopefully you guys can keep in touch via YouTube or whatever. And for people who are going to be in town and you want to come visit the house church, I'll let you know where it's at. We're in Dayton, Oregon right now, which is not, it's, it's by Portland, but it's a little bit south, <laughs> southwest, out in the, out in the more quiet areas. <laughs> so, um, kind of where it's at right now. Still working on a whole bunch of different stuff, so, um, we'll see how it goes tonight. Praise God if it, God will just move and help us really get our, um, attention on things and learn things to put the pieces together, you know, there's always different ways, the analytical view, the spiritual view, the heartfelt view, the experiential view, there's so many different ways to kind of dial things in together and uh, really lay hold of the, the strength of God and the faith that we want to be standing in, so um, praise God, I guess that's good for now, um, yeah, if you want to be in contact, that's my main thing that I really like to see, if you have queries or of course, and if you, if you want a serious answer, then, you know, ask me in a legit way to say, man, I really have a lot of disagreements with you. And then you can lay it out and I'll be like, well, been over that a million times. You know, I, I got serious issues with where Baptists and Reformers and Calvinists are today. Uh, yeah, though, there's a lot of good things about them. There's a lot of things about them that I just kind of just kind of just don't even go there because it's just so different that I don't even want to waste my time with stuff that I don't really agree with. Things that slow me down, things that I have to stop and think about and break my stride. It's, it's, I, I just don't do that. You know, the doctrines of divorce and remarriage, people get into that in, into a way that I, I just, I don't feel like they're looking at it properly. And it just, it's just frustrating because it's such a serious issue. There's certain things I just don't even get into anymore. So, um, yep, if you have any questions, definitely ask in a cool way and I'll know you're serious and I'll give you a, a serious answer. Um, if you have any questions about, you know, queries, uh, concerns, comments, questions, and concerns, whatever. That's cool. Um, yeah, don't ask me how my family's doing. I guess that's one of the things I was thinking about. People ask me, how's your family doing? And I'm like, um, I think you have to be married and have kids before you can count that as a family. A family of one, we're, we, we all one are doing just fine. We're doing fine. It's always a war. I'm always focusing deeply. It's always a big battle because I got a lot of work to do my own job. It's just already over full time. And then keeping your mind focused on the things of God is another full time job. <laughs> so it's always a lot of work. And it's just easier overall if I stick to just a few things. So people want to talk about this, that, and the other. 
I love you and uh, we can connect a little bit here and there when I'm willing to come off my island in a sense but mostly I'm just going to keep building in one spot so a lot more can get done in a department that I really believe in. So praise God. Talk to you guys soon. Please keep in touch and uh, I'm good with um, phone calls, texting. I have a phone that I use for Marco Polo that I've been using with street preachers. There's a lot of street preachers among the group in there and I talk to them one-on-one -on -one sometimes. <clears throat> And that's cool. It's like a walkie-talkie um, um, app that you can use. And you can leave long videos. You can just sit there and talk for two hours if you want. There's no limit. So please don't do that. But just, you know, talk that way. Ask questions. And you can fellowship that way. It's kind of like a visual texting in a sense. Because you can just leave it and someone can get to it when they're ready. And uh, it makes it a lot less pressure in this busy world we're living in right now. So that's one. I have a phone I use for Marco Polo. And I have another phone that I use for texting and whatever and calls and stuff like that. Um, I'm open for these things too. Just the focus that I'm hoping is, you know, honest questions. But I just don't want people calling me up to preach to me about their doctrines. You can ask me what I think about it, and I'll tell you because I already I already have a lot of opinions about a lot of what's going out there. Um, so yeah, that's that's my main thing. If there's a conspiracy you want me to let to say, hey, check this out, and I'll, maybe I will. I don't know. Usually I don't. But uh, so, anyways, I guess that's good for now. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Sorry for dragging that out so long. Bye.